Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting adventure of the Jersey folks and my furniture flipping journey. Uh, if you remember all the furniture that I have in here, I either got at a very, very deeply discounted price uh, or I got for free, okay? And I am redoing, or not redoing, I'm furnishing our basement. And this is the bar area, so I'm working on the bar right now. Uh, I have some pieces over there that you could probably see in the background that we're gonna do for the entertainment area. Uh, so today we are working on this gem right here. She is gonna get this beautiful Granny Smith apple color. Was that upside down? Are we, let's do it that way. Granny Smith apple. I'm excited to do that, but what's interesting, I kind of have like a little bit of a dilemma because I have this piece over here, which is going to be our liquor cabinet. I'm going to raise her up a little bit. I actually just ordered some feet off of Amazon and I'm going to put um, a piece up on top, like a piece of, um, you know, plywood or something up on top of there. So we could use that as a as another as a shelf to put stuff on because uh, I need a place to put like our microwave and our um, toaster oven because I'm gonna have that down here too or maybe I'll figure out another place I don't know because I don't kind of like it out well the, the, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it but anyway I did have a little bit of trouble with her and I was going back and forth well what do I want to do do I want to paint her the green or do I just want to go ahead and work with her because she is going to get that color blue that's right there on those cabinets. Like I've already got the blue out, it's already poured, I already have a roller for it, but she is already primed. Hmm. So what do I do? Do I just open up another can of paint? And, you know, it, it's, a, it's, I'm trying to do things and I only have one roller. That's it too, like one roller for, for these kind of rollers. It's actually the gray ones that I like better. I don't know what these are. Um, but as you can see, I did have some issues. They're each screwed in, like the screw, oh, there it is. The screws in here, into each one of these guys. Whoop, where is it? There it is. So this took a little bit of work. They all have these long cables back here. So this is gonna require a little bit of work on my end because each one of those lights is uh, screwed in. So I just tried to use my electric screwdriver to get these lights out. And I, I don't have the flash on. And I don't really think it's gonna work. Um, I am going to just have to use a hand screwdriver and there's quite a few lights. There's three, six, nine lights that I'm gonna have to spend a little time on for this piece. It's gonna be a bit. So I might put this guy, you know, on hold. I think I'm gonna put him on hold for a little while and I'm gonna work on my other piece and paint that. I was trying, I was thinking I could just bring that piece in here and prime it up real quick, like kind of do a quick um, sand on it and get it primed up, but I don't think that's gonna happen. No, it won't happen. Taking those lights off is gonna be a little bit of work. I'm thinking about just ripping off the top. Like there's a layer. I think, I, I, well, I showed you where the screws are coming through. I might just rip that piece off and go to Home Depot and see if they can just give me a new piece of, like kind of cut something similar to that. Cause I actually want to put a top on it anyway. Um, yeah, well, I need that piece too. Cause I'm thinking I'll make it a shelf. That's what I could do. But I still want a top piece on it well, maybe, I don't know. I got, I got a lot of things to figure out because I'm even thinking about changing around, moving this guy. 
I'm thinking about moving him over to this side. Yep, you know, my lovely garbage can. Whoop, where's the camera? Yeah, I got this on selfie mode. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Time for the Granny Smith Apple paint reveal. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Look at her. Woohoo. She's a beaut, that's for sure. All right, so let's get her stirred up. And then we are going to start rolling away. Number one is done. And I gotta tell you, I really like it. It is coming up very like limey green on my camera here, but it's it's really not. It's actually a very nice, like it, the green is actually more muted. It is coming up very vibrant on my phone, but it it's def wow! definitely more muted. And I was going back and forth with painting this guy, that really pretty blue color, like we have over here. Um, but for whatever reason, I had like it in my head that this was going to be blue. Um, I mean, now that I see the green, it wouldn't have been bad to do this guy in green, but I really like it. I really like it. All right, now we need this paint to dry and then on to coat number two. Coat number two. Uh, before putting on the coat, I did a little light sanding uh, just to smooth it out. I don't really think I need to do that, but you know what? A little sanding never hurt nobody, right? And I gotta say, I love it. Again, it's coming up still very limey green, but it's not. Um, so something I thought about, so here is the back. Now the back of this dresser is going to be, this is where we're gonna have like the bar stools, okay? I am gonna build out and up a little shelf that kind of sticks out just a little bit so that when you're sitting on a bar stool, you know, you can kind of lean on it. So because of that, this side is going to be exposed and so now I'm thinking, what do I do? Because I wasn't go, I didn't prime it. Obviously, I mean, I, I could always go back and prime it and just paint it the green. But I do have another idea. I'm not mod podging it. Not, not going to do that. Um, I have this really neat wallpaper, uh, like contact wallpaper that looks like shiplap. Uh, like aged shiplap, I might put that on there. I I did go ahead and paint the sides. I'm going to have to do another coat on these because um, I'm just going to put the shiplap so it's nice and rectangular easy so I don't have to like cut out on these uh, wiggle parts. So I think I'm, I might do that. I have to see. Hmm. Okay. I put on coats of the of the rust-oleum matte clear protective coating uh, i had to go into my uh paint pit as i call it and i found a roller i was going to try to do like a regular mini roller instead of my fancy ones and honestly it didn't turn out that bad but i found a roller and i used a one of those disposable you know paint trays i lined it in tin foil like i do like i've been doing just so I could save it, but I got the three coats on. I would, so what I wound up doing is I coated the whole thing in the matte clear, drawers, everything, 
went back, did a second coat on the top, and then did a second coat on the drawers, and then did a third coat on the tabletop. Because again, that's gonna be our bar, so I kinda need it. It is now time to put the hardware back on. I'm pretty excited. I went through and I spray painted all the little, um, the, all the hardware. I spray painted it that beautiful gold color, which I'm using to tie in. That's gonna be the color on all of the pieces that I do down here. And uh, it's time to put it on. I decided to keep the original hardware uh, and I spray painted it gold. And I gotta say, it is beautiful. So I'm going to put the first piece in. Oh my gosh, it, it just looks so pretty. As you can see, <gasps> but it looks so pretty. All right, let's get a nice close up shot. <gasps> Look how nice that looks. All right, I am gonna get this all set up. I'm gonna get these all in. done and I love it it is oh my gosh it looks beautiful I I gotta say this whole painting furniture thing is I'm really grooving on it it looks gorgeous now it is time I decided that I am going to put this uh, wallpaper on the back I will link this down below, but I got this off of Amazon and you can see it's kind of that, I guess it's, oh, I guess it's not really driftwoody. It's more like, um, almost like a, oh, what's the name of that tree? I can't think of the name of the tree. Like a birch. Yeah. It's kind of like a birch. I do have one of these already. I, but I can't find it. I have no idea what I did with it. It's, it's somewhere in my somewhere in my garage, I think. But I really do like this. And oops, and I just ripped it. And I think this is gonna look kind of cool going along the back, you know? So we're gonna have to measure this out and put it on there and see what winds up happening. See what it looks like. And it's a nice thick quality too. It feels very like a wallpaper. finally got this one on and I did much 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 better with it look at it it looks really awesome doesn't it I, I do I mean even though ugh, these stupid things I don't know why I'm so bad at putting on wallpaper I, I you know what I think it goes back to when I was a kid and I would play with Legos and I loved Legos like I can't tell you how much I loved Legos but I hated it when I had to put the stickers on like I always wished that the stickers would just come on the pieces because I would always make the stickers crooked. I think it's like PTSD from having to put stickers on Lego pieces from when I was a kid. So I just can't get it straight. I'm gonna go back through with the um, with the hand with this guy to kind of get as much out as I can. But this piece I did a lot better with. So up until the very end, up until the very very bitter end. And then it started going crooked, but I, I don't think you can really tell. All right, but anyway, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go through here with my X-Acto knife. And I'm doing this with my left hand. I feel like I need to do it with my right. Oh, I don't know which hand would really be better. All right, so I'm gonna get all these pieces off. And, ah, oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh, I 
think it worked. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Ah, it worked. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these pieces off and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, friends, here is a super quick look at the before. Given a once over here. And now. All right, friends, there she is in all her glory. She is finally done. Look at her. I had to move her because I moved this mammer jammer over to her spot. I'm gonna get, she's my next piece. But this is how the back turned out, okay? Don't judge me on the wrinkles. I know it's so bad. I Like I said, PTSD from Legos. Um, but you know what? Nobody's going to see it. This is going to be, I'm going to have the shelf for the bar to come out here. And it kind of looks like wood, right? That's what I'm going to tell myself. Um, and this is for me. I'm okay with it. If I were selling this piece, obviously I would redo this. Uh, but I really like it. I am very, very happy, very proud with about this one. All right, I couldn't take it. I actually went back and I redid it. I cut that top piece off and I reapplied her and she's much better. There are still some little tiny wrinkles in it, but overall, much, much better. All right, everybody. So that's pretty much it. I finally finished my second piece. I am going to be working on my third piece coming up. That one is going to be, I think, the, the main liquor cabinet. I was thinking about making the orange one the liquor cabinet, but I think I'll just keep that for dishes and glasses. Um, this piece here that I'm going to make in the liquor cabinet, to make into the liquor cabinet is, she's a big one. She's pretty big. So she might be like part liquor, part glasses too. So wine glasses, you know, pint glasses, all of that, which I have to dig out. I got a lot of pint glasses that I need to dig out. Um, so I'm really excited. These, the two pieces I've done so far have come out really great. And if you've been joining me through this little journey, I really, really appreciate it. Um, so stay tuned for piece number three coming up and that's all Jersey folks.